Hello, I'm Berenice Baker and I'm the editor of Enter Quantum. I'm here with a quantum expert who's here to talk, talk to us about how quantum policy should be introduced. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, thanks very much. Uh, I'm Elham Pashefi, a professor of quantum computing at University of Edinburgh. I'm also the member of the senior science team leading all our software activity for quantum computing and simulation hub. That's great, thanks. And uh, to start with, can you explain to me what needs to happen in quantum policy to make sure the UK is quantum ready? It's a great question. So there is uh, a lot already happening in quantum. So as, as you probably know that our national strategy in UK has been one of the first setting the agenda. And I think all the different pieces of the puzzle are coming together. So I'm going to focus here on quantum computing compared to all the other technology exists like quantum metrology, quantum sensing, quantum communication. And regarding quantum com computing, which is a long commitment, I think UK has been doing great. But in my opinion, given that I'm a computer scientist and I'm way more um, excited about the application and what do we do with this quantum computer, I think the really the new race that the UK need to be focused is that to ensure that there is a systematic approach for finding application, for developing application, and demonstrating the advantage of that application for real world problem. That's really interesting. Thank you so much. And we're very much at the top of the hype cycle for quantum computing. And um, so how can we manage expectations beyond the hype? That exactly goes with the first question. So in, indeed, uh, the hype and the excitement is that because we are all imagining and dreaming and projecting and trying to discover what those applications are. I know, as, as you see, there is a lot of report that it is we have a capacity of computation that is not achievable using classical computer. We know that, but a lot of pieces need to come together to really reach out there. So we need a much better hardware to be developed, scalable hardware to be developed. We need to come up with the verification and testing to build the trusted performance of such a device is to be there. We need to show how our application problem in logistic, in finance, in optimization, in drug discovery, in material science can be mapped to those hardware. And this whole entire roadmap need to be all the time systematically going through. So I think the hype is um, can be avoided if we are ensuring that everybody comes together. We're bringing academic, we're bringing the end user, we're bringing industry, we're bringing all the various in between puzzle and again here UK is doing great we have the National Center for Quantum Computing we have Technology Hub we have academic and so this interconnected ecosystem as I always say that it takes the entire ecosystem to come up with the right application and that's the only way we can ensure that we send the right message to the potential end user. Excellent that's really interesting thank you. And given we're still a little way away from having widespread quantum computing why is it not too early to start preparing now? This is the other side of the, the same question. So indeed, you could say, OK, it's too high. I should wait and I see when things are delivered. And that's that's not the case, because quantum is not like a new device that you wait and is the new thing comes to the market, you plug it and then uh, voila, it's you, you set it up. It's, it's just a whole evolution of our thinking in a whole adaptation. And it's not that it's complicated. It's just such a different way of um, translating your problem to these new devices, that the whole industry should be part of it. And it's important because the industry can even influence of which problem to explore. So far, the field has been very much academic driven by us. We're thinking what this quantum computer can do and we come up with the solution. But right now is the best moment that the outsider to come and explain what is their figure of merit, what is their desire enhancement, what are the actual uh, obstacles they are facing in the current development, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's optimization, whether it's sensing. These are the moments that this conversation is very important. And if you don't bring your business soon, you have two problems. First of all, you're behind, you're not quantum ready when this device is emerging, when the whole technology is adaptation, it's going to be much more difficult. And also you have not influenced so that the whole evolution has become more beneficial for the particular problem that your business wants to deal with. That's great. Thank you so much for your insights, Ellen. My pleasure. <laughs>